Years ago, I commissioned uh, a painting of a historical event that really touched my heart. And I called the painting, The Person Who Changed the World. And my family thinks it's funny because they, they call it the trick painting, right? Because it's, it's not ever really what you think it is. But the painting shows a young man on his way to prison. And as he's going to prison, he's being given a gift by a woman. Now, it's a, it's a true story. It's about a young man who was born in Imperial Russia. And uh, he was a, an arrogant man, a, a, a cruel man, really, a sarcastic, biting, angry, um, spoiled young man. And about the time he was in his 20s, he fell in with a group of friends that were writing things that were really negative towards the Tsar. And uh, in Russia, you, you don't write bad things about the leader. I mean, it's just not, it's just not good advice to, to write or do or say negative things about the leader of Russia. And uh, he and his friends did that. They, they were writing really rebellious things about the Tsar. And so the Tsar actually had them all arrested. And just for writing these things, uh, he sentenced them all to death, to be shot. And on the day they were to be executed, in fact, the record says that at the very moment the muskets were raised to fire at these young men and this young man, um, they were pardoned by the Tsar. And that's a good time to be pardoned by the Tsar. They were pardoned by the Tsar and their sentence was commuted from execution to uh, seven years labor in Siberia. And as he was being taken to the train station to be transported to Siberia, this young woman, this stranger, this person we don't know, uh, she came out of the crowd and gave this prisoner a gift. And that gift was a, a pocket New Testament with some Russian rubles or money inside of it. And that was it. She gave him this gift and left. Well, this young man was transformed by this gift. It changed his life. Not only the fact that he was given something by somebody, that, you know, some, some perfect stranger just gave him this, this gift, but the New Testament itself transformed him. He kept that book with him his entire time in Siberia. In fact, he slept with it underneath his pillow. And then he kept it with him throughout his life. And up until he died, he had that pocket New Testament. And the words changed him. The stories changed him. This gift transformed him. He left Siberia a different man, a humble man. And he became, after Siberia, he became a famous writer. And you might not know his name, but his name is Fyodor Dostoevsky. And he wrote The Brothers Karamazov and Crime and Punishment and a few other really great classic works of literature. And his writings um, were very symbolic, very hopeful, right? He left Siberia and wrote stories about hope and about redemption and about Christ or Christ figures coming in and saving you at the last minute, because that's what he had experienced. In fact, his writings were adored by another author named Leo Tolstoy. And Tolstoy said that his writings were inspired in part by Dostoevsky. And then Leo Tolstoy had a correspondence with another famous person named Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi says his writings and his life was influenced by Leo Tolstoy. And another man was inspired by Mahatma Gandhi, and that, that person was Martin Luther King Jr. And you can see this ripple effect of influence, of inspiration that can really be traced back to this man in chains being led to Siberia. But the thing about this painting that I had commissioned is that it, it's not about Dostoevsky. Right? It's about this woman. That's what this painting is about. It's about this woman who we don't know. We don't know her name. We don't know anything about her story, but she's the one. She is the person who changed the world. 
this woman, through a simple act of service, stepped forward and offered a gift to a man who perhaps didn't quite deserve the gift, to a man who maybe was just going to die in Siberia. But she gave him a gift, and it changed his life, and it changed the world. And here's the part where the painting becomes a trick painting. Because it isn't quite about her either. The painting is about you. This person who's giving this gift to this man who doesn't deserve it, I mean, this, this person could be you. Whatever good you do in the world, however small it might seem, it can change the world. Right? You are that person, the person who can change the world.